Last week we talked about why now is a great time to buy. Specifically this fall, we are seeing a softening of the market. It's not quite a buyer's market yet, but it's heading that way as new construction continues to build. We're also seeing elongated low interest rates and continued appreciation. So multiple factors are making this fall a great time to buy. I want to expound on that this week and talk about what is your money going to buy you next year. It's astounding what a difference one year can make, especially in this market. So two years ago, year over year, Denver saw a 12.6% appreciation. The last 12 months, we've seen a 10.8% appreciation. We're expected to see the next year, year over year, an 8%, 6 to 8% appreciation. I'm leaning towards the high side, specifically in the Denver market, Colorado might be closer to six. So if that's the case, a $300,000 house today is going to cost you $324,000 next year. In addition, we've already been promised the feds are going to raise the interest rates another quarter this December when they meet again. And we have the elections this year, which is already impacting our interest rates. Yesterday was a terrible day for rates. So if rates go up a half a point in the next year, and I've even seen some estimates as much as a point, I don't necessarily believe it's going to go up that much, but even a half a point, then you're going to see your payment go up between the appreciation and the interest rate 13%. You can't save enough in any normal savings product to make up for a 13% loss by waiting a year to jump into the housing market. That house, instead of 300, is going to cost you 324. That payment, instead of at 3.625, it's going to be a 4.125 on a higher purchase price. Is going to go up from 15, uh, sorry, 1752 to 1980. And that's an approximate with PITI MI. And that was with 5% down. So you have to look at, so not only is that house going to cost you more, the interest rates are going to go up, but by waiting, you're, you usually, when I sit down with a client, they tell me what my budget is and we back into a purchase price. So if your budget is 1800, not only do you have these factors uh, working against you, but now you can't even afford that $300,000 house. Now you're down around 275, which today that house might have cost 245, 250. Whatever it is, it's beneath the house you want to buy. So it's something to consider. Now is the best time to buy. This fall is a perfect time to buy because we are seeing the softening in that buyer's market as new builds continue to build. Give me a call. Let's run through your specific numbers and talk about your cost of waiting because it is an absolute. There is a cost to waiting. And if you have the opportunity and the ability to jump into the market now, you should seriously consider it. And if you want to seriously consider it, then give me a call. I'd love to talk through those numbers with you. My name is Nicole Ruth. I'm with Fairway Mortgage. And if you know of anybody else that's also on the fence thinking about buying but not ready to move, please forward this video on to them. I just want to make sure that they have the facts. I do look forward to hearing from you. Nicole Ruth, Fairway Mortgage. Thanks so much.